I've gone ahead and created a pop-up box for my landing page. And I'm now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a duplication of this artboard inside my layers panel. The reason why I want to do this is that I want to make sure my logo is in the same spot on every page. So the easiest thing to do for me is to kind of take my artboard inside my layers panel, click it on the artboard and drag it over to the trash can beside it is called the new layer. And what it does here, as you can see, it puts the artboard onto the right of it and it says landing copy. To avoid any confusion in, this, in these artboards here, my artboard is currently saying landing copy. I'm going to be going ahead and change this to be my home page. So I'm going to double click on the name and change this to be home and click on enter or return. I'm going to drop it down and there's a couple of things I don't really need and there's most likely the pop-up box. So this is the one I'm going to remove. So I'm going to select that and I can just hit delete and off it goes. So on my home page I want a menu. So I'm going to click take on the text tool, uh, click inside my layer and it gives me lower ipsum which is greeking and then I'm going to do some typing here. So I've typed in a menu here, it's home, menu, gallery and all that. I'm going to place it so it's within the starting at the beginning of a column. And maybe I do about here, line it up with the other text, there we go. And there, there's my placement. I want to change this name here. I'm just going to call this a nav bar and hit enter, and I'm done. What I'm going to do now is that I'm going to create a bar underneath my home page so that people know what page I am on. To do this is that I'm going to create a new layer inside my layers panel within my home artboard. Inside here, you can do it a couple of ways, but the easiest way for me is just going to create on the very bottom, there's a new icon, a new layer. So create, click on that once. You could also do the drop down menu and where it says new layer, or if you want, you can also go to the menu bar, layer, new, layer. So either of three would work. So I'm going to zoom in a bit here. To zoom in, I'm going to use command space for to give it a different way of doing things. So just zoom in a bit here to scroll in until you see fit. And the next part I'm going to do within my layers panel here, I'm going to grab my marquee tool and draw a, a rectangle right underneath it. So. So I've noticed here my color is black. I don't want black, I actually want pink. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on it once and it gives me this wonderful pick color picker. I'm going to click within my color picker here and say OK. So if it's still selected, we're going to go ahead and fill this color. The easiest keyboard shortcut for this is Option Delete, which is filling with the fill. If you prefer the menu bar, you can go to Edit, Fill, and then pick your contents, either a foreground color or background color, and then say OK. So to finish off this lovely web page here, the on for the home page, I'm going to minimize this page. I'm going to change this color from red to maybe orange. So we have two different pages signifying here. 